good morning from Stavanger. It's about 7.30 I think and we're just slowly pulling into port and obviously you can see the huge advantage of having uh, a balcony at the front of the ship that we get to see this fantastic view and you can see how calm the water is although I have to say at this time it's freezing cold isn't it James? No it's warm. <laughs> and what's the tour we're going on today? Uh, a cruise to Pulpit Rock and the waterfalls. Yeah so we'll tell you more about the tour a bit later once we have docked into port. It looks like we are going into this direction over here. As the ship's starting to turn. The weather's cloudy uh, and sunny today. As I said, at the moment it's very cold, but I guess it's gonna warm up. Hi, we're James and Rob, and this is our dog, Oscar. We love travel in all its forms. So join us on our next adventure as we head out on the road again. Good morning again from Stavanger. This is our first port stop on this Norwegian Fjords cruise. And we've arrived early and here's a video of us arriving this morning and the ship doing a 180 degree turn in order to dock and I guess exit easily later on. Now, today we've booked on an independent excursion to, to cruise Lysford and also to go to Pulpit Rock. And interestingly enough, you can book this on P&O and it's £99 per person, but we booked it independently on exactly the same boat for £55, so basically half the price. So that's definitely something worth considering. I think we're going to be lucky with the weather. Let me turn the camera around. It's going to be a nice day today in the 20s. You can just see the guys tying the guy ropes up over there. Uh, and it's not due to rain, so it should be a really nice day to go out on the boat, a smaller boat than this, of course, and explore the fjords. And of course, we'll take you along with us, show you what Stavanger has got to offer and tell you what we thought of the tour as well. So we'll see you later as we get off of the ship. Good morning from a beautiful Stavanger. We are so lucky with the weather and there's the boat over there that we will shortly be getting on. And we are off.
604 meters, almost 2,000 feet. Every year, roughly 300,000 people hike to the top of Pakistan to enjoy what some travel experts have called the world's best view. From the parking area next to Pakistan Mount Lodge, it takes about two hours to hike along a well-marked prepared trail to the top. There is a deep fissure between Pakistan and So we are just off our cruise green trip to through the fjords which you'll have seen was absolutely beautiful and it's parked next to our ship and because it's only 1.30 we don't have to be on board until 4.30 we're going to wander around Stavanger and the old town which is very quaint, slightly spoiled by the Burger King and 7-Eleven um, but you can see what an absolutely stunning day it is today and we've seen lots of videos of the tour that we did in the pouring rain so we really appreciate that we've had amazing weather today and let's go and see what we can find yeah we're gonna go and try and find something grab a coffee somewhere as well or something to eat unique Norwegian brand Spectators. Is there a international Diamonds International here? No. <laughs> well, Little square in the middle of Stavanger and McDonald's. There's a ritual over there, Jane. Lots of nice bakeries and coffee shops. Bakery there. Winchester Cathedral and there's a little market as we head back down to the boat. So James what do you think of Stavanger? Oh, it's quite a pretty little town. Yeah, it's nice. Definitely helps that the sun shines sure. doesn't it? For sure. It's a little market on the way back to the ship buy your last few knickknacks, buy everything that you never knew you needed, like a troll.
and then we are going to head on back to the ship. It's absolutely beautiful today. When you're not on the ship, it's definitely uh, short weather today. We've been so lucky with the weather. But we're both tired since we've been standing up most of the day. Head back to the ship, chill for a bit, and then watch the sail away from our cabin. So we'll see you there. So we're coming to the end of our first port day in Stavanger and it has been a fantastic day with weather that you could never have really hoped for, especially in Norway, in Northern Europe in September, but we've been blessed with an amazing day today. As you saw, we went on the, um, the cruise to Linz, I'm just reading this, I can't pronounce it, Lies Ford and to see Pole Pit Rock, which you should have seen. That was great fun now. We paid £55 each for this excursion. We booked it independently and I'll put a link into the show notes in below so that you can see who we booked it from. You could book exactly the same excursion through PO for £99 per person. So we basically saved half the money by booking it privately and it was literally a 100 metre stroll from the where the ship docks in port to get on the ride hopefully you've seen from the video that it was well worth doing just absolutely stunning and beautiful and Stavanger itself is lovely but there's only so much you could do wandering around which you saw what we did once we got off the ship so now we're going to go and grab something to eat because we're going to eat in the main dining room tonight and we'll of course show you what that's like but we're going to try and eat a bit later to avoid the madding crowd so we're going to get a late lunch now and then we're, of course we're going to watch Sail Away and we'll show you the Sail Away as well. Good evening, we have come down to or up to the crow's nest which is on deck 16 and we thought we'd have a drink before dinner and so James is having a sorted caramel espresso martini and I'm having a passion fruit martini because they didn't have the whiskey based drink that I wanted. Um, the waiter wasn't very happy to serve us, seemed like he was doing us a favour and uh, anyway, the drink I wanted they didn't have available, so we're having this drink, then we're going to join the virtual queue and eat in the main dining room tonight, so we can show you guys what that is like. So we'll be back with you um, shortly, and we're going to join the queue and then let you know how long that takes from booking in to actually getting down there. We've got a nice view from our table, oops, um, overlooking the ocean, it's a bit rocky already, and apparently at 10 p.m. it's going to get a lot rockier so we're definitely going to put the test of what it's like having a forward cabin tonight and see if we get any sleep so we've come down to the coral dining room which is the main dining room one of the two big ones in the upper level we joined the virtual queue and we were at number 21 but it took less than what 10 minutes i guess to get in so that's good and then we got seated and unlike the other day they have two queues so the people that have already booked go straight in and the other people who were just turning up uh wanting to grab a seat to eat so um anyway we're in we're going to order food and we'll let you know what it's like when it arrives start have just arrived james ordered the caesar salad and I've ordered the lamb, oops, there we go, the lamb kofkas. And we've both ordered a large glass of Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, which was about £9.50. But it's actually really nice, probably the nicest glass of wine we've had. Um, and I've got to say, the main dining room, compared to the other cruises we've done, like with Celebrity and also oops, Royal Caribbean, I can't tell you what the food's like yet, but in terms of like the spacing of the tables, 
you don't feel like you're on top of each other so that's that's really nice anyway we'll um eat our starters and we'll let you know what they think about it. certainly i'm not going to get fat on that or fatter and am i on that starter but it looks nice anyway well my starter was very nice well, I have to say, I'm not going to get very fat on that. It's more like a little amuse bouche, but it was tasty. One thing we've noticed here is that their food isn't seasoned that well, so you need to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. James, what was yours like? James is finishing his Caesar salad. He also, James doesn't like fish, and he also tried an anchovy. <laughs> Never again. So anyway, so that was our starters, which were very pleasant and the service was very quick so can't complain about that so we're kind of glad that we've come to eat at the main dining room at least once on this trip so we can see what it's like and obviously share with you guys what we think of it as well so certainly service has been quick and the wine is nice and the starter was nice although my portion was definitely on the small side see what the main course brings i've got the turkey for the main course and james is having the brisket so we'll see what that's like Okay, dessert's arrived. I forgot to start videoing it, but James is having the cheese. What do you rate that as? And um, I'm having the apple streusel, which isn't too bad. So uh, we'll finish eating this and then give you a summary of what we thought of the whole main dining room experience. Okay, we've left the main dining room, had a wander around to um, burn off a few calories. And we thought we'd do a little summation of what we thought it was like to eat at the main dining room. So what do you think, James? Uh, not as bad as Celebrity, but it is the main dining room. Well, not as bad as Celebrity in terms of the spacing of the tables. And the booking system was very efficient. And we got in quickly. And there were, as I said, there were two queues. So the ones who hadn't booked and the ones who had, that was good. We got served quickly. The waiters could be a bit smileier, but they're probably really stressed serving so many tables and working long hours. The food was nice, but the portion sizes were pretty small. Would you agree with that? Standard. And I'm a small eater, but um, I just say to James that I'm on this cruise. I haven't been going to bed feeling absolutely stuffed, where you know, often I have on previous cruises. So I suppose that's a good thing. Anyway, it's heading towards 10 o'clock when the sea's supposed to get rougher and we're already feeling the up and down of being at the front of the ship so we'll be taking our seasick it's oh it's nine o'clock <laughs> we'll be taking our seasick pills tonight and um hoping that it won't be too bad we'll see and then tomorrow we are in olden where we are walking up the brickstar glacier brickstar glacier um and the weather's not supposed to be great so rainy and about 15 degrees so we shall see what that's like, and we'll see you in the morning for breakfast wherever we decide to go. Ain't worried if I'm up by the lakeside. No, I don't really care what we do. Cause everything just falls by the wayside when I take time with you. And my crazy phone up wanting to chase lights. No, I just want a table for two. No, I don't.